Now on this case that has captured the attention of the world, and we now turn to Gabby Petito. On Sunday, a body believed to be hers was found in Wyoming, and we're still waiting for those preliminary autopsy results expected to be released today. In the meantime, the community of the small town where Gabby lived with Brian and his family wants Gabby's family to know that they care. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane joins us live from a growing memorial for Gabby in Northport. Wendy? Yeah, Jameson, Gabby's story has touched so many lives really around the entire world, especially right here in Northport, the community where she was living. And I will give you a perfect example of this. Check out this sign. These, this is a sign that the city just put up moments ago saying this area reserved for Gabby Petito Memorial. Now, people have been coming here bringing everything from candles to ribbons to teddy bears and flowers, as well as pictures of Gabby. They've been coming to this memorial that started growing on Sunday night when remains that are believed to be Gabby's were found in Bridger Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming after it had been nearly a month since her family had last heard from her. Now, we spoke with people who were coming up here today, walking up here. Most of them had never met Gabby but felt a connection with just the sadness and the frustration of the silence from the Laundry family. I think they just spent a little too much time together crossing the country or whatever. But uh, you, know, you don't do that, you know. It's a shame. They could have found her like two weeks ago, you know. They could have found her two weeks ago if his, his, her boyfriend's family had spoken up. And today, Gabby's family's attorney sent out this statement in part. I want to personally thank the press and news media for giving the Petito and Smith family time to grieve. We will be making a statement when Gabby is home. Now, a preliminary autopsy report is expected to come out later today. Live in Northport, Wendy Lane. ABC Action News. Wendy, thank you. Moving next here to the update on the fight against the coronavirus. And if you got the one